the great thing about music and certainly about blues is the subtleties. It's not always some big elaborate lick necessarily. It's just these little things that you learn how to do, like that little bend, which gives it its sound. If you were just going, it doesn't sound near as cool as, as giving it that subtle little blues or that little bend, excuse me. You see? Now you might be going, and you can still do that, that little hammer on at the end. Okay, so that turnaround or that tag that we could use doesn't have to be at the end of a phrase. It could be all, all over the place, but it sounds really cool at the end of a, you're coming off. See, it sounds really, really cool at the end of that. Okay, so that's the second thing we're gonna work on there is trying to get used to hybrid picking or finger picking. You could certainly do too. Um, strumming. The hard thing about strumming is, is you got to kill the second string because we're jumping over a string here. So to create that double stop that we're doing, the problem is I got to kill the second string to get that. And then when I get to this one, there really isn't anything to kill it. So if I do, you know. Now, could I strum all three strings on that very last one? Sure I could, because it's making an E chord anyway. So on this one and this one and this one, if I really felt like strumming it, I could just deaden out the second string by lightly touching it with one of my other fingers. And then here, just strum all three strings and it makes part of an E chord anyway. So that would be okay to do. Okay, so step one, getting that bad. Step two, adding in the rhythm. Whichever one you like, any of those would be just fine. Okay, and then ending with this to give your your hand an opportunity to get back to whatever it is that you want to do you can play it as a double stop or two notes at the same time you could play them separately okay okay or and then just please remember that you can play the first half separate or together and the second half, separate or together, however you want. And you just combine those things. So the goal is in your mind, you're playing a rhythm. And when do you want to go to that lick, right? So you're either going to go to it on a downbeat, which will give you dun, dun, or dun, 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 or dun, 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 two, four, or six, right? If you go to it on an offbeat or an upbeat or an and, one and two and, for instance there, then you gotta figure out, well, how many beats do I actually have before I start all over? So if I was going one and two and three and four and one and two and three. See, I only have and four and, I only have three beats, three, three things I can play. Or, or, I mean, it doesn't matter, but I have three of them. One and two and three. Where if I play on beat three, one and two, three, four, one, two, then I have four, you see? Now I'm not necessarily planning all that out right away, but I have to be aware of that in my head as I'm playing these licks, whether or not if I start on beat three, I've got three and four and that I'm gonna fill somehow, however I wanna do that. Or if I move on beat three, if I take off on beat three, I'm gonna be starting on and of beat three, so I have and four and, which only gives me three things to, to deal with. So I'm always thinking about that when I'm playing because I gotta try and make it fit. I can't be late, beat one comes around, I gotta be ready to go, right? So if I'm playing one and two and three and four and one and two, I can come up and do something and tell and four and one and two, and then I wanna be back again, you see? So you gotta think a little bit about how you're gonna time your licks. So if you just practice, like, 
or however you want to do it, then you start adding it into your rhythms, trying to figure out how many of these you know, I don't want to do it for four minutes, right? I got to figure out where am I going to go to that? See, I only have so much time, so I got to fill that space with the lick however I choose to. Then here... Right? Yeah, I can change up the rhythm, but I'm still going to have to figure out how to make it fit. That's why if you keep this one a little more traditional, it might be a little bit easier. Or, you know, whatever you like out of that. So now let's take this little idea here, and let's tag that and make something out of that. So what I want you to practice is going like this. So I'm playing the bottom of my E chord here. I'm doing my hammer on from zero to one like I just did. And then I'm heading into those. So that'd be a cool lick I could use. I could be playing. So now all of a sudden, I can play up, you play back down. See how that fits in right at the end? I mean, I could play it. Right there, I'm playing the second string first. See, I could play da 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 or I could play ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. See, or da 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 da. See how they have different rhythms? So that's the fun part about these is exploring the lick and then trying to figure out how you're going to fit it in and make it comfortable for yourself. Okay, just these small things. Again, you can practice doing it 50 different ways, obviously, but the goal is to just find one way and make it work for you so it sounds impressive. So when you play for somebody or you play in front of somebody and they hear you, they go, wow, that was really cool. What was that? Um, you know, you yes, you want to be able to do it all kinds of different ways because you want to take a lick and stretch it out as much as you can. You want to get as much mileage out of that idea as you can so you can use it for different things, okay? So that's the, the, the third one there. So we had this. We had our ending, and now we built off of this idea and added in this. Now, we're going to add on this little idea. Okay, and again, there's two different ways we can play this. Like that, or... So what I'm doing here is I'm playing the open first string. Going to the second string, third fret, giving it a little bend. And then I'm going to open, just like the tag, those two guys right there, I'm doing the same thing here. So if you think about it, it's the same idea as that, right, rhythmically. So if I'm going... Now, again, da 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 is what I'm playing. Ba, ba, da, da. Now, I could play da 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 da. So, one, two, three. Ba, do, 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 do. One, two, three. Faster like that, too, would be cool.
See what I mean? So now I'm going. Or the other way was. See, I mean, you could. Now I'm doing. See, so there's all kinds of cool ways that you can play these depending on the rhythms. Now, because we're dealing with a shuffle here, you're either playing bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, right? Whatever it is, whatever it is that you're playing, you're playing dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, or you're going to play a triplet feel, da, 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 right? So if I'm going... There I've got bum, ba, bum, in any kind of order that I want, I can make it up any way I want. Or I'm going to play the triplet, da, 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 da. So every lick that I do, regardless of these or anything that I'm learning how to do, everything's going to be based off playing a do do ba dum ba 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 or da 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 ba 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 Now, obviously, there's a host of other things that we can do, but we're going to start with those ideas. So I want you to explore these four concepts, either doing double stops, single notes. Okay, and think of them also as either playing them as the shuffle rhythm, the bum 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 heartbeat, so to speak, and then the da 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 the triplet idea. So you've got a number of varieties of things that you can do in between there, and the goal is to really try and figure out how to make them all work in various ways. So you're not locked into always having to play one a certain way. You got to start there, of course, just so you can learn how to play something. But once you get it, the goal is to to really nurture that idea. If you really like these. Figure out how to use that in your playing. You know, not just as a lick, but figure out where you could actually put it. Now, all the things that we're playing right now fit in the key of E. So if you were jamming over a jam track or whatever it might be, you want to make sure that you've got, or with another player or whatever, you want to make sure that you're playing some blues, a shuffle feel, in the key of E, because that's what we're going to be using for this. So. Practice hard, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Get a hold of me through Guitar Zoom, and I'd be more than happy to help you. So have a great day, and practice hard.